Welcome to Miami. This is going to be a Miami vlog. I cannot wait to enjoy this beautiful city. I love coming to Miami. Three hours from New York. We just arrived. It's like 11, oh, it's 12 now in the afternoon. It definitely is a beach day. So I'm gonna get straight into my bikini and go straight down to the beach. But first, coffee. currently in the bathroom and I just got back showered from the beach had a quick little dip in the beach we're only at the beach for about an hour and a half but I'm just glad that we just had the time to actually enjoy the sun and get into the beach that's all that matters because it is a travel day so we're back in the room freshened up we're actually gonna go to a baseball game my fiance is a huge baseball fan so wherever we go we always end up at a baseball game baseball always follows us along so we're going to go to a marlins game with our friends and that's going to be super fun so we're going to go to their apartment have a little fiesta there and then head to the game the marlins are playing against the mets which if you're not a baseball fan boring but it's a new york team okay whatever let's get into something i wanted to show you that's more my style which is fashion not baseball but we do both so actually wanted to show you a little unboxing from pucci which i'm gonna wear on this trip my fiance was in italy he was in florence this summer and he picked me up emilio pucci a swimsuit and a little accessory to match so if you don't know emilio pucci is actually was founded in florence so it even makes it even a little bit more special but just in time for the summer he picked me up a bikini which is a two-piece bikini this beautiful print which has red and the blue running through it but also like orange and like just like the most beautiful colors and then matching bottom so love this little pucci set but the best part is that he got a matching little accessory to match the bikini and he knows me so well because one thing about me is i love my accessories i love my headbands i love my little cover-ups i love my beach accessories okay i'm a very much a missoni girl i'm very much a pucci girl but he got me this matching scarf which actually is going to be a little bit tricky to show you but it looks like this which basically is a triangular and then it has like these two sh long straps around it's basically so versatile like i could wear it as a top just like that and then i would wear it with like trousers which i can definitely wear it on this trip it actually goes with these shorts which like these yellow linen shorts love that i could wear it like that i could wrap it up and wear it as a headband i could wear it as a cover-up i could also wear it as a bandana which i love to do when i'm at the beach and like are you kidding the blue and green insane it's so beautiful and it goes so perfectly with the bikini as well the colors are just so alike and they just blend so beautifully together i didn't wear it today but i did want to show you a cute little unboxing and i will be wearing this tomorrow for sure and i think also miami is so appropriate for anything peachy i love the bright colors and miami is all about color so i love that i wanted to show you my little makeup setup this is the situation this one is new which i got the georgia Armani luminous silk i got it in the shade 53 it's a cheek tint and it actually does tint your cheeks i'm obsessed with it i apply a little bit and i'm like okay maybe i need a little bit more and i just go ahead and keep applying another product i'm loving is this one right here it is the color wow extra strength dream coat i spray this on my frizzy hair and it does not frizz and i can tell you because the humidity both in new york and miami is 
insane and very strong so this one is my hair is just loving it and it's doing wonders i want to show you my full outfit but i'm thinking about wearing this might change because feeling a little indecisive because i think we're going to go out after the game so i want to dress casual enough for the game but also there's no such thing as casual in Miami <laughs> but um, I'm wearing these linen shorts from an Australian label I want to say it's faithful the brand and then I'm just wearing this tank top from I don't know it's an American store I will link it all below but I already feel like I've got a little bit of color might not look like it but I do feel it and then I'm going to wear these which is my Dior sandals Today looks absolutely beautiful. The water looks so calm, so inviting. We are gonna head down to the pool, but first we're gonna get breakfast, which is actually the restaurant just below the pool over there, the little oval pool. Cannot wait to spend the day there. We just had our breakfast. It was a buffet style breakfast, which I mean, it was okay. I just had a fresh omelet. I mostly enjoyed the fresh fruit, the mangoes. Oh, I love mangoes. We never get mangoes in New York. I mean, soft ones that are ready. But now we're just gonna head back, get ready for the day. And we're gonna go and have a wonderful beach day. Quick breakfast check. Now that I have a full length mirror, I can show you. I'm wearing my Loewe tank. Love this, picked it up when that one year in Europe. This Pucci head piece, I mean like it's like a piece of silk that you could do so much with. I love the color. I also love blue and yellow together. It is such an epic color combo. I love it so much. Okay, sunglasses, Summer Fridays bag is St. Bart's, just from actually a souvenir store in St. Bart's. Shorts, I wouldn't be able to tell you, they're just like super casual cotton little shorts. And then I'm wearing my Javianas, nothing fancy, but this was my look for breakfast. Let's get into another swim. So I'm gonna wear another little peachy piece and then we're gonna head to the beach. And actually we're gonna meet our friends down there as well. They're coming today to have a beach day with us, which will be a lot of fun. day here in Miami. I actually just woke up and I'm going to get ready. Now I'm braided my hair from last night. I'm going to unbraid that and just do my skincare and a bit of hair care before we head out for breakfast. I love to braid my hair while I sleep. Obviously it keeps it detangled. It gives me these beautiful beach waves as you can see. So, so that is my little hack for keeping beach waves and not having to style my hair so often. I just braid it, put some hair products in there, oils, braid it overnight, and then unbraid it. I'm going to do my skincare. I don't know what I showed yesterday, but yesterday was basically a beach day, but we had our friends from Miami join us. So we just had a beach day slash pool day with them. We had breakfast in the morning at the hotel. Actually, we're staying at the Eden Rock and the Nobu Hotel is kind of like, they share the same sort of land and they share certain restaurants and pools. So our breakfast was actually inside the Nobu Hotel. Well, it was actually inside the Nobu restaurant, I should say, which actually looks really nice in there. We're gonna head for breakfast this morning as well. And then, after that, we just basically spent the entire day at the beach, like just talking, listening to music, eating, came back freshened up. You know that after beach shower just it hits so different. And then we just kind of went out for dinner at the beach. 
so it was just one of those days but today is another beach day and then we have dinner so we're gonna get ready for that as well i am just doing some skincare always need to stay hydrated i never skip my skincare last step sunscreen i love this super goop unseen sunscreen it is honestly really good hydrating also has lasted me a while but it's also very invisible but it doesn't leave me greasy or make me break out which i love for styling my hair i made sure to bring a big scrunchie because i don't want to get my hair in the water but i also braid it if i do get it wet or if i get really hot but for hair care products for the beach this is the two items that i'm loving this one easy bumble and bumble invisible oil primer i just go in and spray that in my hair which i'll do now it is a heat protectant obviously we're in the uv ray so I need to keep that hydrated and protected so that will come in my handbag and then also i've been applying this which I've used it just probably this is the first week I'm using it, maybe the second week and I'm loving it. My hair gets very frizzy. Obviously I live in New York and it is so hot there right now and we have a lot of humidity. So my hair just automatically frizzes up. Also being in Miami, it is very humid here, but this has been helping. So I just kind of spray this, especially before I style it, but let's just do a few spritz for the beach. We don't want frizzy hair. So that just kind of protects it and it smells good too. So yeah, all right, this is what the situation is. And then I'm wearing my peachy bikini, which I showed you, I love the print. Top and bottom, I'm gonna wear this shirt, which is just a linen beige shirt, which is my fiance's. I'm wearing this to the beach, um, really comfortable. I think he just got this when he was in Italy. And then I'm gonna wear my peachy bandana today on my head as well for some sun protection. Yes, okay, thank you. See, the reality is that I have to drink an iced coffee in the morning in Miami because it is just already so hot and I'm just constantly dehydrated. I cannot drink hot coffee. Maybe if I'm in like my room and it's a quick espresso. Well, actually, I'll never say no to Cuban coffee, right, babe? And Cuban coffee we've been drinking a lot of and it's like very strong coffee. But that's like a little shot. A latte in Miami, I cannot do it in the humidity. Like, I need my iced coffee. I need to stay hydrated as possible, even though coffee does the opposite, but you know what I mean. The cold beverage is what I crave. Coffee and I got a little croissant, which is like a quick morning snack. I didn't want it for breakfast. Well, we made it to the beach. I hope you can hear me. It's a little windy today, but it is Monday morning and what a difference it makes being here on the weekend compared to Monday. It is completely like so much less people. It's just much more relaxing. I'm glad that we had that day with our friends though. And then today is more like a relaxing beach day. I always bring a book on a trip, but I didn't actually have time to pick up a new book. So I have Spotify, I pay for the premium, but I discovered that Spotify has audiobooks and I didn't even know this, honestly, until my sister told me. And I downloaded an audiobook and I was listening to it on the plane. It's called Yellow Face. I don't know if you can see the book. I've never listened to an audiobook and it is, it's just storytelling, like just using your imagination. You know, the characters' voices change. It's a fiction book, but so far it's so good. I've never done an audiobook. I thought it was interesting. Let me know if you do audiobooks and what do you prefer. I'm kind of on the fence of getting a Kindle as well, just because it's easier just to download the book and have it there with you, fits in your handbag. I've always been a classic novel book girl, so I don't even know if I would get used to using a Kindle. But my first audiobook marks this trip, which is a big deal for me. Okay, let me know what you prefer. Classic book, audiobook, or are you a Kindle? I'm interested to know because I'm thinking I might be switching to a Kindle very soon. Should we do a what's in my bag? I traveled with my St. Bart's tote. I put everything in this little pouch that keeps everything together and dry, which you haven't applied. You need to apply some to the screen. My lip gloss, Kosas, the wet lip oil. I love a lip oil. I want to get more actually. 
I think I want to try the Clarins lip oil. This is a little darker than I would usually wear, but I actually quite like it. I don't think it has any like UV protection, but it does feel good and hydrating and it's not sticky, which is essential. dinner this is what i'm wearing i actually picked up this little skirt from revolve i like that it's like a low rise and it's also like a midi wearing it with hermes sandals actually goes perfectly with the colors on the skirt i just love the little flower details very delicate and cute but also very flowy i just love a baby blue moment but anyways tank top is reformation just like a basic tank and then my little pouch is Bodega Veneta. This is the fit, and we're about to call an Uber and head up. Good morning, another day in Miami. I have the beach right behind me, but my screen is so fogged up. As soon as I stepped outside, it's just not even focusing. I've cleaned the screen so many times, and it has just completely fogged up. Okay, now it's coming back to normal. Well, good morning, another day in Miami, and I am ready for another beach day. We're actually gonna go down to the pool. It's looking quite empty, but first, before we do that, we're gonna go have some breakfast, coffee, and croissants, and all the good stuff. So it's our last day, so we're packing up, and we're going to have another day fully at the pool, and then we're heading out back to New York. So let's get this day started. Very quick fit check of the day. I'm wearing again this linen shirt that is my fiance's. I love the color, honestly. It's like a very eggshell color. Peachy bikini set, and then I'm wearing my St. Bart's tote, which I love. I love all these beiges and creams in the summertime. Kith hat, which is, I believe it's part of the new collection which was a gift, but not mine as well. It is my <laughs> fiance's, but I love the white and the royal blue, very cute color combo. But this is the quick fit for the pool. Mm -hmm. 